Hey everyone, it's Colt. Uh, yes, I desperately need a haircut. I know, I'm working on it. This video is a bit different in that it was decided the topic was chosen by you, or at least the subscribers who uh, saw my poll. So if you didn't see the poll that I sent out, I, I gave five or six suggestions for videos and I, I had people vote. Uh, this was the top choice. So if you wanna be involved in that, please do the whole subscribe, sign up for notifications, turn those on uh, so that you can see future polls because I plan on deciding on future topics using those polls. Anyway, this is a small channel uh, right now. Who knows for, if it'll probably always be, but it's small right now and you know, five or six people wanting a certain video is enough for me to make it. So that's enough about that, but please do the whole subscribe, notifications, like, comment, blah, blah, blah. This video, which I think I am actually blocking the full title, need to work on that, uh, is on three different JavaScript objects, the window, the document, and the screen. So these are three things that we have access to in any browser window, um, when you or browser tab, let's say that, instead of window. And they're all different, but they're all related, and there's some overlap, and it's kind of annoying to talk about. So let's dive into it. So the first thing you should know is that the window object has a bunch of properties in it. It's sort of the top level. And two of those properties are the document and the screen. So the document and the screen are properties of the window. So let's start with the window. If it's this top level, big mama property, big papa, big mama, need to be uh, inclusive here. <clears throat> All right, so uh, I have my console open here corresponding to this MDN tab that I have open. The window object is gonna be available to us in any browser window, any browser tab, and it contains a lot of information about a particular window, but actually it's the particular tab. So this has a different window object. This has a different window. This has a different window. Even though they're technically in English, we would say they're in the same browser window. They're different tabs. They have their own JavaScript window. So the window object contains a whole bunch of things. Um, aside from the document, aside from the screen object, it also contains things like in this case, jQuery is used on this website. So there's a dollar sign that's been added to the window. If I make a variable with the var keyword, like var dog equals, uh, I don't know, Cassie, sure. If we look at window, it now contains dog. In my video on let and const, we talk about how that is not the case with um, let and const, they are not added to the window. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time going over every piece of information here. I would have to spend hours to, to fully cover this. Some of this information is particular to this web page. Um, I mean, MDN, like jQuery. You don't have jQuery by default in every window, but some of it is, and most of it is always there. Information about uh, the URL, for example, we could find that if we go to window.location, which is where are you? H-I-J-K-L, right here. This contains the URL, the host, host name, the path name, port, protocol, a whole bunch of stuff. So anyway, there's a lot of content and it doesn't all have to do exactly with this browser tab. Some of it contains dimensions and that actually is going to be the same across these browser tabs because they are in the same browser window. So they have their own JavaScript windows, but they're in the same browser window in Chrome. Um, so this window is this top level thing. And inside of it, as I've mentioned here, are the document and screen. So let's start with the document. What does the document represent? The document is constructed after the window and it represents your content on the page. Usually the stuff you see, although it's not exclusively stuff that is visible. So it, in most, most of the time it's gonna be HTML. It could be XML, it could be another markup language. Um, usually it's, it's HTML these days these days and it's constructed based off of that HTML, it's parsed and it doesn't just contain information about the elements. So if I show you, this is kind of an annoying uh, quirk of, of Chrome now, but if you just type document, what you see is sort of this representation of the HTML, which bothers me because you can just see that over here. I can inspect it, I can go to elements. I don't really need that in my console. But if we do console.dir, and there might be a better way of doing this, if someone knows, what we see now is our regular object view or object debugger view of the properties in that object. So it contains things like the URL. 
So that's something I want to point out. There is uh, some duplicated information, and that, that happens more than once. You'll see when we talk about screen dimensions, there's multiple places to find information about the screen in the window object. Some of it's in the window, some of it's in the screen object. It's all over the place. Okay, so most of what the document contains uh, pertains to the actual content of the page, stuff around the elements. Um, obviously, we have the body here, and inside the body, there's child nodes. So it's a structure that is representing this structure here, where we have the body. And inside that body, there's a script tag and a UL. And if we go over here, you can see there's a script tag inside that body. There is a UL and all of these other child nodes. We also have a bunch of methods that we use all the time when we are manipulating the document object model, the DOM. So searching for things, getting elements by ID, using query selectors, uh, the document is our interface to the content. If I want to manipulate something on here, change CSS properties using JavaScript, we go through the document. But remember, the document is part of the window. This video is really more on comparing them, not going into detail of every property. So the document is contained as property in the window. Lastly, let's talk about the screen object. So again, it's part of the window. You can access it just through screen. Um, and it contains information about the screen that you are currently sort of using, uh, whatever window this is referencing. In this case, this window here. Actually, that's a lie. I believe it's this tab. Anyway, this screen object contains information about this actual window, the browser window. Height, uh, width, the color depth, I've never really used that, as well as the orientation. So what I want to do here, I'm going to click on this toggle device toolbar here that allows me to change and sort of view uh, on different layouts or different screen sizes uh, and, and debug things. Right now we're at 840 by 860. If I now look at the screen, take a look, you'll see that it has changed. Let's just look at height and width, 860, 840. So I'm not going to go into detail um, on the different properties around avail height, avail left, avail width versus height and width versus um, there's also other ways of getting dimensions. There's the outer height, there's the client height. Those are not part of the screen object, but there's a lot, uh, a lot of different ways of measuring real estate, let's put it that way, in your browser. But if I change the orientation here, which there's a way to do that somewhere. Where is that? Let me make this full screen. Uh, here we go. Rotate it. You'll see that our lens or our orientation is set to landscape. And if I go back to portrait like this, pretty horrible screen size there. If we look at screen, it has now been changed, hopefully, to portrait. There we go. All right. So screen contains these properties, information about the screen itself, the color depth, the orientation. Um, some information overlaps with what is contained in just the regular plain old window, but this is the overall relationship. The window is the parent. It, it's an object that contains a whole bunch of properties. Even things like, uh, I didn't show this, but our beloved console, console.log, right? This sort of stuff, if I can type. That is actually part of the window, window.console. There we go. So it's window.console.log is the same exact thing. Other things like uh, infinity or NAN, not a number, that's part of the window. But alongside that, we have the document, which contains information, properties, uh, methods relating to the actual content on our page, usually HTML. So the nodes. Of, as part of the DOM, uh, the methods to manipulate them, to find and search through them, to change certain properties in CSS. And then the screen is also part of the window, but the screen only contains inf information about the screen itself, usually the screen you're viewing the page on. All right, this is the part where I elegantly sign off with all sorts of grace and poise. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you liked it. Like it if you didn't like it. Get all your friends and family to like it. And also sign up for notifications if you want to be part of deciding what I teach next. If you want to uh, respond to my polls and vote on what topics I cover. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.